needed to find a job and that this was going to be maybe a really great side gig, but I also needed to find a job and it was causing me so much anxiety. Right. Finding this other thing, the thought of finding something else that I was as passionate about was giving me physical anxiety until I, I realized that this, this can also be the main thing. In order to make it work, I would have to come up with this perfect plan, perfect options, perfect art right away. I would see artists who've been doing this for a long time and be like, well, if I don't have the level that they have right now, it's never going to work. So the perfectionism is the second one for sure. Right. You never see their crap art and their crap plan right. and their crap website, right? You Because they, they weren't on anybody's radar then. just that cultural belief of this probably won't work because there aren't a lot of mainstream models for it so even from a supportive upbringing there's still that belief strange fear but the fear of success where if this goes so well how am I gonna keep up with it or if people really like it I, then I have to prove that I'm really good at art or stuff questioning things I already know. I've already gone through my art skills, that's not why I'm here, but the, just the confidence in myself that if it becomes successful that that's okay too, that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, well I can tell you when the shift happened, because it happened yesterday. I, oh yeah, okay, okay, this is uh, <laughs> Yes, I reached out to a prototype using the language that I learned in the course talked about wanting to put something together and before I could even explain that it was part of a class she was so on board and she was like I'm on board because I connected with you I met her in person but I didn't know her before she goes I connected with you I connected with what you stand for I'm on board and I was like that's these are the people it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks I met her in a group of 20 other people one out of 20 doesn't that's it She's great. She's great. Her don't matter. It was easy because she was the right person. It was exactly my target market, someone who could afford what I was putting out, someone who needed what I was offering. And it was great. She was like, oh, I'll pay you whenever. Like, I'm on board. Isn't this a commission? I was like, yes, it is. <laughs> Yay! Let's say there's somebody kind of sitting on the fence about enrolling. They were just gobbling up all my free stuff. They might be going to my webinars for free, sitting on the fence. Maybe they took my creative live courses. They're not sure. Should I do this? Should I not do this? What would you tell them? I would tell them if you're serious about sharing a part of who you are, sharing what you stand for, and you don't think you can do it, you can. Awesome. And free stuff is great. Just take it even further because it's all the tools that you'll need in one in one place. So Right. And it works it's working for me.